matchup right here. Yeah. Circuit versus Taser Act. <laughs> All right, I like the tag. Rock and the Inkling, you know, near and dear to my heart right now. Yeah, definitely. That's that's your main right there, your yeah, boy. That's my boy. All right, so Phoenix though, he does have some pretty solid been into uh, some Inkling practice, so I'm not. I, I'm expecting him to do pretty well in this match. Yeah, after all, it is uh, Fallen who plays Inkling Fallen now, the uh, ex-Rosalina player from Smash 4, top PGR player, uh, multiple PGR, I should say, now a Inkling main in this game. But uh, we're seeing a relatively even game, 62% on to circuit right now, if anything, a slight deficit. Brings it right back, up oh. throw into forward air. Great damage, looks for the Shadow Sneak as well. Yeah. I feel like this matchup is super based on who can get a lead and run away. Uh huh. Oh, absolutely. I mean, both uh, characters have really excellent projectiles, so they can both play the zoning game for sure. Um, and the damage output is there. Kill yeah. confirms as well. May even argue that it's an even matchup. Yeah, definitely. They're both very slippery characters as well. You know, it can be very hard to track either of them down. For sure. And when it comes down to it, at least in you know, my experience with it, it's very hard to make a comeback on either side. And that forward throw from Circuit actually taking that first stock. Not sure if it was bad DI, but he did toss out that throw immediately. Maybe he mixed him up. Yeah. I mean, Tazerak could have been, you know, tried DI away, avoid like a down throw mm -hmm. forward air combo. And, you know, just wasn't ready to react to it. Great air dodge read there from Circuit. Yeah, it looks like Circuit has definitely got a hand on this matchup. But Tazerak is not too far behind in that up air. Not going to do the trick. That was actually really amazing DI coming out for Circuit to survive that a little bit longer. But the next one has to do it. I don't care what DI you have. You may have the DI of the gods. You're probably not going to live to the next up air. All right, he gets up off the ledge. Tazerak still trying to find this first stock. He air dodges through the up smash, and the F tilt still not enough. 148% on circuit, still on his first life. Tazerak struggling a bit, already at 96%, and uh, circuit really just throwing out these kill options now. Yeah, and as he can, you know, even Inkling doesn't have a plethora of oh, kill options. No. He gets the roll, but misses the up smash. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Circuit able to mash out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I, get, I mean, that, that move grounds you for such a long time, but Tazerak just didn't have the, the right uh, spacing. He actually, um, I guess, wasn't ready to confirm off of the roller because, oh, that's probably going to do it. Yeah, great yep. punish there. 160% on Circuit's first stock still. Tazerak down to his last life. I like the option to go for the fully charged water shuriken instead of try to punish it with something like a forward smash and avoid the splash hit box of Inkling's up. Yeah, and, and as I said before, I mean, this is looking like it's a runaway for Circuit. Uh, okay, finally get the back air. Taser Act may just be in the game as long as he uh, is able to get these confirms. His combo game and his neutral is actually uh, pretty strong. In, in fact, he's keeping it even with Circuit in that regard. I, I like the confirms right now. Using the back air, going to confirm into the jabs. That's a lot of damage. Going to put a lot of ink onto Circuit. And when you have that ink on, the damage really starts to rack it. Up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that damage multiplier for uh, ink, I think the maximum is like 1.5 or something like that. Something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Got to gotta confirm that later, yeah. Numbers. Depends on how much ink. Uh, there's a certain point where... You know, if you have more ink on you, it doesn't actually do more damage. It just makes the ink uh, stay on yes, longer. Yes, yeah. 86, and uh, we're down to our last stock, actually. Tazerag making this comeback. Yeah, he's definitely not out of this game quite yet. And as I say that, the forward air is going to seal out that stock. 0% on Circuit. Yeah, stock. JV2 there for uh, Circuit. Uh, I really, actually, like I said, I, I liked the way Tazerak was playing neutral. His combos were there. Uh, in that regard, totally even game. But it, it came down to the fact that uh, he didn't quite have the roller reads he was looking for. He was throwing roller out a lot, but Circuit was calling it out every time, shielding it, jumping over it, getting a punish. So he, he really needs to try to go for more like a, a landing, like a, a landing trap, like if you're gonna or or yeah, or read the, read the, read the defensive option and then roller, and as opposed to just throwing it out there. Yeah, it's um, a very good tech choice option. You know, you can do things like back here, and then if they tech any direction, you can roll with them, and the best option they have there is to, um, is to not tech, but then Inkling has a mix-up of going for a jab lock. So there are a lot of options. 
Inkling has with that roller just existing. Yeah, and Circuit making the quickest switch to Sonic in this game number two. We're going to go to Smashville and Tazeract. All oh, these uppers like connecting Fox. for so much damage. 55, in fact, 66. He's still going. I, and this is actually looking really good right now for Tazerak. I was going to say from talking to Meteor, he actually prefers Sonic in this matchup because it can be very difficult to actually catch Sonic. For sure. Thing. But Tazerak right now looking really solid, getting his grab oh my God. throw into the up air. Gonna just force him back on stage. I like the use of the splat bombs as well. Yeah, and I mean, Tazerak is playing right now like he either like doesn't know that this is uh, Circuit's OG main or he, he might just not even know who Circuit is at all. Or on the flip side, he does know, and he's like, "Man, you think you could just switch? Over? You think you think I'm some scrub? I'll show you." He's off stage right now, though, and that Ooh. forward smash connecting circuit, bringing it back with that edge guard, sitting at 135 percent, taking Taser X first stock. I and that was actually a bit unfortunate. Taser X did up be a little bit farther away from ledge. He didn't go directly under it. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, you know, that forward smash was kind of just a given for Circuit. I like the use of the roller out of hit stun. Gonna catch him trying to spin dash in. It will beat the spin dash. And now it's a pretty solid game for Tazerak. Yeah, definitely keeping it competitive right here. He's gonna get caught by the spring, but able to get a second uh, super jump out there. That, what's that move called again? It's the... I uh, do believe it is. I think it's the super jump, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's the super jump. I forgot from when I played Splatoon 1 all that, all those years ago. I mean, I was, I'm was i definitely a big Splatoon 2 fan, but like I definitely cannot remember it off the top of my head. All right, but that forward air going to do the trick for Circuit, and he's looking actually really, really dominant on this second stock already. Only at 9%. Tazerak, halfway to kill percent. Yeah, great recovery right there. He was under the stage, but he was able to angle it properly. Right now, it looks like Circuit is starting to just run away with it, no pun intended, but he does have all this damage on that is unanswered, basically. Yeah, and this is, I mean, the, the, the hardest spot to be in against a Sonic player, especially a really, really good Sonic player, yeah. is uh, a, stock, a full stock behind against one of the characters that has the best runaway in the game. So. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, you know, one of the reasons Meteor prefers this over, you know, his wolf, but prefers Sonic in this matchup is it can be very difficult to find a hit that actually matters on Sonic. That was really smart of Taser Act right there. Actually threw out the uh, splat bomb, forcing Circuit to jump over it, and he was able to catch him with an up air uh, as a punish. Ooh, Hit him in the face, man. I mean, I like the option from Taser Act there.